Hello and welcome to another video about Griffin. In this video we're going to explore the power of tuning screens. So let's say hypothetically I have a scenario where instead of having the period of this sine function that I'm plotting being 10 seconds like I set it up, uh, I would like to be able to change that period on the fly. Now I could add a new variable here, which I'm actually going to do. We're going to call this variable period and initially it's going to be 10 seconds. So now that I have this uh, saved as a variable, I'm going to have to actually incorporate it into the calculation. So instead of this adjustment, we're going to have 2 times pi divided by our period value. So now whatever we set that period to, that's the period we're going to get. Now, if I want to change this while the program is running, I'm basically going to have to open this up and change the value. And then, actually, I'm going to have to then choose this to be a fixed value and then refresh the program. And that could cause all kinds of problems if you have a complex application that's currently running or controlling a system in the field. So what we're going to do instead is we are going to use a tuning screen to allow us to change this period value on the fly and that's going to prevent us from having to actually open a Griffin application and make changes which isn't something that you're necessarily going to want anybody to be able to do. So I'm going to add a table view here and now what a table view is is when I click this display live charts and tables button instead of just the graph coming up we're going to have the, now the graph and this table view. call this tuning screen. So I'm going to have two columns. I'll just have this be the name column and this be the value column. And for a more complex application you might have multiple screens with many values but I'm just going to have one row here and I need to select this option user can update values because I want to be able to change that. So this is going to be our period and the value is going to be this array config dot period. So this is our tuning screen. I'm going to save the application and run it. So let's go ahead and start the application. And we're going to pull up the displays. This is the plot of the sign of the time elapsed like we had before but now there is a new display which is this tuning screen that we created so if we want to change this period value now we can simply double click in here and by the way this uh, box being green means that it's a value that the user can update if it were just white then you wouldn't be able to change it so let's say we want to change the period to five seconds when you first enter the value, it's going to show with an asterisk. That means that value hasn't actually been applied yet. In order to apply it, you're going to have to click the update button. So I clicked update, and now we should see this cycling every five seconds, which it is now doing. As you can see, this box turned from green to yellow. A yellow box means, again, that the user can update the value, but this current value is different than the value the application has saved. Now I'm actually going to close this application to show you that these, this works with the application closed. So I'm going to change it to 20 seconds and update. And now we should see this value cycling with a 20 second period. Now in the process of tuning your configuration, you're probably going to get to values that you actually want to store in the Griffin application itself that you've set in these tuning screens. The way you can do that is using this update app button. Now the app has to be closed. You can't have the app open for this to work properly. But once you've updated the new values and you want to save them to the application, you click update app. It's going to give you a list of everything you've changed. You can select the ones you'd like to update. You see the old value is 10. That's what's saved right now. We're going to change the value of array config dot period to 20. And now at 20 we are green again. That means that 20 is the value saved in the application. So if I change this to our old value of 10, it's going to show up yellow. 
And this should go back to plotting a, with a 10 second period. So now if I open up our application and go into array config, we see that period has been changed to 20. So those changes actually were saved to the application with the update app button. So with a more complex application, you may have many tuning screens with many options in each of them, but the basics of operation are the same. Uh, tuning screens are a very convenient way for you to be able to update your configuration in real time without having to restart or refresh the program. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.